Hey, this is Ray with Spray Wash Exterior Cleaning. This video is about a conversion from a soft wash system's cradle skid to the new proportioner system from the Power Wash store. The cradle skid's been a great asset for us for several years, but wanted to move to uh, this new technology with the proportioner that works better for the way our company is set up. For a pumping system, we're using a Dayton booster pump. This particular one is three-quarter horsepower. It is electric uh, using 110, 120 volts. Uh, draws about 12 amps, so it will hook up the most residential electrical circuits. The proportioner system uh, allows you to change your mixes on the fly and do away with your mix tank completely. All we have on this system is a water tank, a soap tank, and a bleach tank now. Uh, it's proven technology. The inventor has been using this for three years. And as a close personal friend of mine, he actually helped me install this system on my truck. We've got some videos of the proportioner in use. And here comes a basic schematic of how uh, mine is rigged up. The proportioner is available only from Paul Cassander at the Power Wash store. This is a huge time-saving device. Imagine no longer having to make a soft wash mix. Just wanted y'all to hear how quiet the booster pump is. And that booster pump is actually running wide open at about eight gallons a minute. Hey, this is Ray uh, using the proportioner. Uh, in our modified skid. This is available from the power wash store. Right now we're shooting about a 10% mixture mat. You want to go ahead and spray some uh, using the booster pump, electric booster pump to shoot that. Uh, shooting a 10% uh, with bleach. Uh, go up a little higher mat and show the distance on that. Okay, now beautiful thing about uh, this system is if we want to change on the fly all we have to do is say that's not a, a high enough mixture, that 10%. I put a soap bump in here, and then I'm going to go down to about 20%. So I've just changed my mix ratio completely. Matt, hold it down to the ground so we can show where that soap bump. When the soap gets a lot thicker, we'll know that everything behind that is now 20%. When we just introduced that glob of soap into the line. And right there, the soap's getting a lot thicker, so we now know that we're shooting a 20% mixture. And just uh, on the other side of that, let's say our mixture is too hot, or we're getting off the roof and we want to shoot something uh, less, I can come up here again and abuse the soap bump and cut this mixture back to anywhere to a 2 or 3% mixture. And Matt shooting. Again, we'll see. Uh, we're actually using a really foamy soap. We were doing roofs today on this. And uh, whenever we see the soap get really, really thick for just a second, we'll know that everything behind that is now only about a 2 to 3% mixture. That's what we sat on. Um, on this truck, we see that. There is a chemical tank and a water tank. There's no mix tank on this vehicle at all. And Matt, give me a distance spray on that. Uh, we can show, uh, see how far we can shoot with that. So about 40 foot or so with a three quarter horsepower distance. Now, whenever it comes to rinsing, Matt's uh, still spraying the chemical here. Uh, we want to go to rinse. It's simply a two valve process, uh, three way valves. Now I am bringing water in from my street reel through the booster pump, and you can actually see that the volume increased a little bit uh, on this. Uh, with these uh, threads on this type of garden square handle, you can actually put a uh, little converter kit and put J rods on there to neck down your spray. Uh, give me a distance shot again, Matt. We'll see. Yeah, that's actually exceeding by about uh, seven or eight foot the distance that we had last time we were spraying over there with the additional pressure coming in from the street. Hey, 
and here's just a look at the uh, unit. Again, that is the proportional unit available from Power Wash.